This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Flamecraft in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-5 to five players, playing time is short, and it's a reasonably simple game. You are a Flamecrafter, a magical artisan who works alongside dragons to create wonderful magical enchantments. Can you be the best Flamecrafter in town? The game end is triggered once either the artisan dragon or the enchantment card piles run out. All players then have one more turn and the winner is the player with the most points. Just watch for the heart symbol. Worker placement. Placing your dragon on a shop triggers a lot of effects. Set collection. Completing enchantments and scoring endgame dragons uses sets. Drafting. You can draft new artisan dragons from the face-up display. Player turn. The game has six colored resource types and coins, which are wildcard resources. Each player takes a player board, which acts as a player aid, the matching dragon meeple, and three artisan dragon cards. When you gain resources, they go to the side of your board. At the end of your turn, you may not have more than six cards in hand or seven of any type of resource. As your reference card suggests, there are two main actions you can do on your turn, Gather and Enchant, each of which has multiple steps. Around the board there are six starter shops, and when you take the Gather action, you will place your dragon onto one of these shops. You gain one resource matching the symbol of the shop and any artisan dragons there. Then if the shop has a free space, you may play a dragon onto it. That dragon must share a symbol with one of the spots, and grants you rewards based on what you cover up when you place. For example, here that is a fancy dragon card. You may then use one of the fire up abilities on the dragons at the shop, so here that is drawing one new artisan dragon. If you place your dragon on a shop with another player's meeple, you must pay them one resource. If a shop is ever full up with dragons, at the end of your turn draw a new shop from the supply. These advanced shops have a unique ability that triggers at the end of the gather action. Next up is the enchant action. Choose one of the five available enchantments and pay the resource cost shown on it. You then gain any rewards listed below. Here that is four points and an artisan dragon. Then find a shop that has the matching symbol and place the enchantment under that shop. You may then fire up all dragons in that shop. Now when Whenever a player gathers here, they gain the enchantment bonus too. Fancy dragons are scoring cards. Ones like this you pay resources to score points, while this type of fancy dragon scores points at the end of the game. And at the end of the turn, refresh the artisan dragons and enchantments. Why would you like this game? Flamecraft is such a warm and attractive game and it has some of the most eye-catching art on the market today. You'd have to be some kind of monster to look at this stuff and grumpily say it's not for you. It also does a great job of keeping its complexity down despite having a lot of engine building elements. And that comes down to keeping the main decision really simple, gather or enchant, and then adding the complexity after that point. And can I just say that I love that while each of the colored artisan and dragons has the same power, the art is unique for each of them. So for me, Flamecraft is a great lower complexity game with a bit of meat to it. Perfect for family game night with older kids too. The uh, best thing about this game is how it makes you feel progress. Taking big gather actions mid game feels very rewarding. However, the playmat is rather long and it takes up more space than it really should. For such a light breezy game, it is a table hog. And I think it might disappoint some serious games out there, because under its beautiful veneer, the core gameplay is solid, but it's not amazing by any means. For another cute fantasy game, try Ex Libris. And for a different take on adorable engine building with dragons, try Wormspan. Flamecraft, it's more than just cute dragons. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.